What's up, guys? You're welcome to Emacom TV, where we publish news and politics, entertainment, celebrities, and metro stories. We have another trending news for you today, and the headline here read: Nam Dekano sponsored by some northerners. He only loves money. All right, guys. Before I uh, go over to broadcasting today's news to you, please, if this is the first time you are watching any of our videos on our channel. Please, there's a red subscribe button below this video right now. Just go ahead, hit that red subscribe button, click the bell icon beside it so as to stay updated whenever we publish news like this in the future without ever missing any news again. All right, now the news in details. Deji Adenjanyu, Adenjanyu, a popular human rights advocate on Sunday, August 25th, revealed the sponsor of Namdi Khan, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP, according to a statement he wrote on his Facebook wall, he said, The IPOP leader is sponsored by some leaders in the north, adding that he does not love the evils that he always professes. Aden Yaju said that Kanu is after what he could gain financially as such is mainly driven by his test to amass wealth for himself. Kanu only washes money and will not stop the verbal attack on evil leaders in as much as his paymasters continue to send him alert, he says. He also accused him of being miscreant and businessman whose recent call for President Buhari's attack in Japan proved his age-long fact that he is sponsored by some northern elements. Those who were doubting me when I said Kano is being sponsored by some elements in the north can now see the clear handwriting on the wall. He can only reason he, how can any reasonable person openly call for attack on the president of a nation on foreign soil, even if you don't like Buhari or what they present, what he represents at least. We must respect the fact that he is the president of a country, he added. He said, the move is senseless as he berated the leader of the band group for asking his follower to do such. Deji also said the move will lead to an atmosphere of war where the evils who he dishonestly claimed to protect will bear the harsh consequences. Alright, what do you guys think about this? This is um, Deji Adenyaju actually coming out to allege that Nandi Kanu is actually uh, sponsored by a politician in the north, though he has not openly mentioned any politician but uh, from my own calculation from from what i think i think he is actually referring to atiku abubakar i'm going to tell you why he is actually referring to atiku abubakar because you know uh, in the run-up to the election at a point um Ekwerimadu said he was uh dumping the whole campaign thing you know he was dumping the articles campaign organization because he was not being carried along According to sources, you know, they said that where Ekwerimado was actually angry with Atiku was that he was not carried along and his choice of Peter B was not his choice. He didn't after he was not really consulted. And according to sources, they said that it was Oba Senjo that personally single handedly handpicked Peter B because according to Oba Senjo, Peter B, you know, um, actually is a governor i mean is a is a vice president that would that is, is a candidate that will be able to deliver on dividend of democracy because according to peter b peter b say he left uh, was it was it five billion or ten billion you know in the post of the uh, i mean in the in the in the state post he left some money in the state post that's what peter b said and you know that when a person just hand pick yara dua a person just single and lady hand pick yara dua for jonathan I mean, he had picked Jorya at that time and had picked Jonathan, okay, to be vice president to Yaradua. According to Basenjo, Basenjo said Yaradua is not com corrupt because he left up to 20 billion in state posts, okay. So now, um, this guy was not actually picked, and I don't think Atiko have actually said anything in regards to uh, the humiliation of Equerimado. He had not said anything, even Peter B had not equally said anything. So a lot of people are looking at it that there's a cold war still going on between them. So what these guys are trying to say, if it actually is true, then it could be a tickle. But I, I told me I don't know. It just I'm just thinking aloud here. So but I want you guys to think, who could these politicians actually be? 
okay i want you to think about it and also drop your own comment below let me know what you think about this this is malcolm tv peace out to you guys before you guys go please make sure you subscribe to this channel share the videos to your friends on facebook on your on twitter and also um whatsapp okay god bless you guys this is malcolm tv peace out